and gentlemen, welcome to Antis' Dining Room Table, where we're about to get classes for today. Please allow me to introduce our cast. Deacon is playing the history professor. We have the one and only logic professor, Molly. Mrs. Yay. So and So and Audits Prompter, played by Phoebe and me, Emma Brooks, starring as narrator and science professor. Our first subject is all good homeschool college to begin is history. Finally, put away your cell phones and try to pay attention. <laughs> I turn you over now to Professor Deacon. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the history of Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't know if you are going to find this remarkably interesting. Wait, why? Because I said so. Well, yay, but according to the logic, <laughs> that is not an answer. That's a red herring. Just saying. Okay, okay, so just humor me. <laughs> You see, many years ago, our great country was populated with peoples called Indians. Hey, is that why our state's called Indiana? You asked too many questions. <laughs> I know. Once again, red herring. Will you just let the man speak? You're such a so-and-so. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Indians. Well, there are these folks, folks from some country, it doesn't matter because America's the best, went over here to American soil, formed a relationship with the Indians in order to survive. Seems rather self-serving, if you ask me. Who asked you? Not you. You won't even answer my questions. <laughs> <laughs> Dear audience, I pause our skate here to remind you, but these are all cousins we're putting on this play. We just interact this way. It means nothing. We love each other, right? Yeah! <laughs> Let the play continue. I'm almost done selling. <laughs> so can we just fast forward to where they eat together? You know how I love to eat. In fact, I'm hungry right now. Do they have dessert? How can you be hungry again, logically? That makes no sense. Your body can't eat food already. You just ate breakfast. Besides the point. Red herring must run in the family. <laughs> Y'all just quit and get on with it. I've got some information. I can't wait to hear about the main meal, of course. It's very scientific. <laughs> As I was saying, food. Um, yes, well, Miss So-and-So, it just so happens that the Pilgrims... Hold it right there. You never mentioned Pilgrims. When did they come onto the scene? Well, if you just let me talk, this always happens. Always? Sounds like another red... Well, you get the point. <laughs> just get to the meal part already! Okay, sure. So, you all got together to share a meal, which history says consisted of turkey, maize, and whatever else they had. I completely lost my train of thought because of... Mm. Now see what you've done! We'll never get to eat! I want to do my science lesson! Great! I told Mom we could never learn together! <laughs> never red herring! Enough! <laughs> I'm the oldest and I say enough! Continue on, Deacon. <laughs> so history tells us that these Indians and... Um, Emma, could you please try to stay awake here? As the oldest, you know, you're really not saying a very good example. So sorry. Must be the nutrients in the turkey called tryptophan. You see, science <laughs> tells us that's one of the 20 naturally occurring amino acids, which as everyone knows, the building blocks of protein. Because the body is unable to manufacture tryptophan on its own, it must be obtained from food protein. Well, just another great day of homeschooling learning. <laughs> but you're paying mom and aunt sis. We hope you enjoyed our play. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now we're actually going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>